This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's right. So with that, we're going to give our glory and honor praises to Yahweh. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who push this work in truth and sincerity to the scattered abroad. All right. And we are down in Tampa Bay, Florida from the camp of Providence in Babylon, man. All right. We want to get into a quick hit in the spirit, man. All right, going into the fear of the Lord, man. That's right. Okay, it's a fearful thing to talk to fall into the hands of Yahweh Bashamel Shai, man. Because we know that our power, all right, is, he does all these things, man, when it comes to judgment, or right, when it comes to anybody getting taken out the game, man. All right, anything that comes to what's going on, on this earth, man, the Lord is in control, man. All right, the Lord is in control. So we're going to go ahead and bring that out in scripture again. Go ahead, brother. This is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. All right. That it is a fearful thing, man, to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. When you see somebody getting hit by a car, all right, and they body gets splattered over, the Lord did it, man. All right. When you see somebody uh, uh, suicide, you know, uh, uh, taking themselves out, man, the Lord did it, man. The Lord put the spirit on them, man. You know what I'm saying? Those death angels on them, man. All right. Because you got people who are out here just wicked as all as hell, man. All right, don't care about what they're doing. Continue in their wickedness, continue in their sins, man. The Lord's not having it, man. And you get to the point where you're just reaching all the way up there, okay? And you're gonna get to the point where the Lord's gonna say, all right, that's enough for him, man, okay? And the Lord's gonna take you out the game. But it's a fearful thing for those things because all, all, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah don't play, man. That's right. All right? Yahweh Bashim Al Shah do not play, man. Preach. Matter of fact, if you can, you can bring that dude around me. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. And this is going to let you know, man, straight off the bat. Okay, it's simple. Go ahead. See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. It's just your whole body me outside, man. All right? Go ahead. I kill and I make a lie. The Lord what? I kill and I make a lie. The Lord kills and he makes a lie, man. It's plain and simple. The Lord kills and he makes a lie, man. So what does he, the Lord chooses... If you gonna die, or the Lord chooses if you gonna live, man. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why when you see old little JoJo from the block around the corner, and he just got he just got wet up by thirteen times. Lord put the put the uh, the death angels on them uh, um, on them whoever Jake's there to, to take him out the game, man. That's right. Uh, JoJo ass is wicked as hell. All right, and, and you see somebody who who who, who done got their ass into a bad uh, accident, but they still survived. It wasn't their time, cause Lord, what He preserved them to to, to uh, till that day, man. Come on. Okay, to, for them to stay alive. Come on, if I may add, uh huh. I, like on my way home, you know, I saw a car accident right in front of me, man. Oh man, look at that! <laughs> a car accident right in front of me. That's wild. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too bad, but what the Lord spared them. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right, so He man. might hold them for a for a different uh, a different judgment. Come on, you man. know. So read on. I wound and I heal. So we know, man, if you bump your toe, the Lord, the Lord did it, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if you get yourself messed up in a situation, the Lord did it, man. Mm -hmm. All right? It's all for his purpose, man. Okay? You learn, man, and you know what not to do. You know what to do, man. Okay? The Lord, the Lord wound and the Lord heals, man. So when you know better, you're going to, hey, oh, damn, I'm not going to do that again. You know what I'm saying? You're going to learn from your lesson, man. You know? Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And when you think mm. about it, man, them back in those days when you had Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and so and so, you know what I'm saying? That was they couldn't help us out of the situations of segregation that was happening on in them times, man. That's right. They couldn't help us. They couldn't deliver us because why? Going back to Deuteronomy to uh, 28, the curses, man. Uh. The Lord did those things, man. The Lord put the curses on us for our wicked asses, man. Okay, us going off, not doing right what the Lord told us, man. He, 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 law, he said laws and statutes commandments are, are for so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, to That's do right. right by him. Okay, uh, to follow those things. But if you didn't follow those things, guess what? Them curses was going to come upon you, man. That's right. All right? So you got these uh, uh, wanna be, I want to save you uh, uh, niggas, all right? And, and, and they can't do nothing, man. That's why they got taken out of the game themselves. They, they don't sell out niggas themselves, man. Uh, all right? But I just show you at the end of the day, the Lord's in control. You can't, you, nobody can take you out of the Lord's hands when his, once his hands is on you, man. That's right. No, you can't, you can't be saved, man. Uh, Y'all about Shemal Shai did it to you in the first place, man. Uh, okay? When you in the Lord's hands, it's no way getting out of it. Bring that back at the last part, Baba Kasha, Y'all about Shemal Shai. Because that's a prime example for you niggas to think y'all going to be uh, 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 saved some damn type of way. Just because you going out there giving out uh, uh, food and shit to the homeless, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. 
That's not worth. That's not gonna. That's not gonna help you, man. What's gonna help you is getting this truth and getting this word, all right, and getting it and, and, and getting this uh, uh uh getting it somewhere where you can put your foot in, all right, your brick in, and, and, and bring this word out to the to to, to, to bring this uh, destruction of this, this place down, man. That's right. All right, through the spirit, probably about shy, about shy, repenting, okay, for your sins, man. Cause right now you all wicked as hell, is Jake. Gone. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Uh -huh. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, mm -hmm. neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Neither is there that can deliver out of Yahweh by Shimei hand, man. That's scary, man. Brother, that's scary, man. Uh -huh. when you scary. Man, I remember when, I remember when a situation where um um uh, what was uh you know I was going through some things man all right uh, before I came into this truth all right I was dealing with anxiety for a long time man okay could nobody help me in the situation but till I came into the truth the Lord healed me from that situation man you understand hey man the Lord had had my head wrapped around my goddamn whatever the hell it was man all right and that shit was scary Calm. so imagine I know that that now the Lord did that to me man that was scary. Cause nobody could help me in that predicament for my wickedness of doings, man. Okay? And you got a lot, a lot of Jakes who continue in their wicked doings. All right? And when the Lord put his hands on you and get you in that bundle, you're done for, man. Man, you better pray, man. You better pray, man. Hey, I, it's a blessing that all those brothers were from being in this wicked-ass world, man, and coming to this truth. Cause the Lord had mercy upon us, man. Because we could have got caught up in those situations. You know, you could have been a part of this uh, stank ass place and, 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 and not everything that's wicked as hell is about it, man. But the Lord have mercy upon us. The water of Yahweh shot, man. Uh -huh. But, um, what you got, brother? Uh, it's the book of Sirach, chapter 20, verse 4. As is the lust of the eunuch to the flower a virgin, so is he that executed judgment with violence. Mm -hmm. All right? So, as the lust of the eunuch, a eunuch, he abstains from sex. All right? He, um, he saves his seed. So the time where he is about to sleep with a virgin, all right, like he, like like he's ready to release onto that virgin. Uh -huh. The same way the Lord is going to release his judgment with violence. That's right, man. Right? <laughs> the Lord's gonna come and destroy this place, man. He gonna be Lord, Lord, Lord. See, look at this place, man. And like man, he, he just can't wait till he get his hands yeah. on this man. He's ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at all this shit that's going on, man. You know, you see all this bullshit that's going on. All right, all kinds of stuff is going on. Man, this place need to be destroyed, man. We need y'all by Shemal Shai, man. All right? What you got, brother? That was it on that? Oh, oh, and also oh. Psalm 66, verse 5. Come and see the works of Yahweh, for he is terrible in his doing Woo! towards the children of men. Wow. wow. All right? Wow. He, he is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. Mm, uh, even even the, uh, even the Israelites, man, who, who are not in this truth. Yeah, um, man. Right. I remember watching a video over there somewhere on the, in the eastern side, man, and the dude was sitting there recording something, and all of a sudden, dude shot something, I believe, or whatever, it was either a missile or it was a grenade, but the thing just, boom, blew up in front of him, man. Dude leaking out out of his head, leaking out out of his body. You know, he got blood just gushing out of him, man. And that's a scary thing, man. That's a scary thing, man, because guess who did it? Your whole bunch of outside, man. That's Yo, if you don't feel your heart by your mouth shot, man, you about to wake the hell up, man. Uh -huh. If you don't feel your heart by your mouth shot, you about to slap yourself a couple times and look in the mirror and throw some water at you, man. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because it, 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 you about to wake the hell up, man. Because Lord, the way the Lord is using these other nations and other people, man, is an example of what the hell that he, what the what the hell can happen to us if we don't do right. Hey, man, that's a scary thing, man. Uh -huh. And we got to examine ourselves and humble ourselves then knowing that the Lord is that powerful to fuck you up, man. Uh, Alright, to put you in a predicament where you're literally literally popped out with your head, man. Okay? It's that simple, man. The Lord can, and that's you. Alright? And that's why we are that's why we hope to have mercy upon uh we, we hope you have my um y'all bash my have mercy upon us, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because we know that the, the the power we serve, man. Uh, What's up? Uh, go ahead. Oh, you want to break out your other ones? Go ahead. Go ahead this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. And fear not them which kill this body, but are not able to kill the soul. Uh, that's right. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So it's a it's a it's a reason why you should fear your whole bunch of shot because your whole bunch of shot can take you not only out the game, but can take your whole spirit out the game, man. That's right. I mean, can you imagine not being existent forever for nothing? You just it's just poof. You're gone. You're gone, gone, gone. 
gone. You ain't even existing in time. That's scary, man. That's scary, man. That's the power we serve, man. You know what I'm saying? But we know the Lord loves us. You know what I'm saying? He has mercy upon us. But that's a scary thing because Esau could come out here and hit the whole block. You know, yep. he could wet the whole block up, man, with yep. the tools that he got. But the Lord said not to worry about those things because it's more likely that, you know, he, you still going to be, you know, in good hands with y'all about Shemal Shai, man. Okay? He's going to bring you back home. In other words. But you mess around and playing with your whole brush mouth shot, y'all has the possibility y'all has to be wiped, wiped out. Okay? It's yes, more than just a hitting the block, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it on that. Right. 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 This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. It says, I form the light mm -hmm. and create darkness. <laughs> I make peace and create evil. Wait, wait. Bring that back, brother. Bring that back. It says, the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7 It says I form the light uh -huh. And create darkness Ooh. I make peace and create evil Hey man that's scary man That's plain and, that's plain and simple man Okay the Lord does these things Everything that you see man The Lord does it man uh -huh. Read that again It says I form the light and create darkness uh -huh. I make peace and create evil You ever been in a I You ever been like just for example You ever been walking down a, like a dark alley Alright And like, like, like there's no lights <laughs> There's no lights, and then you got strange apparitions happening. Oh, Yo, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey man, that's the Lord, man. The Lord can have you somewhat locked around in the straight darkness, man, and your ass can get fucked up, man. Yeah, man. You All right. Like Paul's running towards you, or, or like someone walking, and crutching on sticks <laughs> and stuff. Like you don't know what we don't. You don't know what's out there. And uh, there's weird noises. Hey man, that you be scared. You be scared, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst part about it is knowing that. When you in that predicament, you know this thing, man. You oh, notice you just, oh, Lord, please. Uh, <laughs> That's that fear, man. Uh, That's that fear. It says, I, the Lord, do all these things. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. So, look, y'all watch my shot do all these things. There's no way around that. There's no way around that, man. The Lord does all those things. It's plain and simple. Okay? Uh, what you have, brother? I have another question. Oh, all right, go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, Sarah chapter 1 and verse 14. It says, to fear the Lord, how about Shem El Shai, is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it was created in the faithful in the womb. Bring it down, brother. Repeat, oh, wait, repeat that again. I'm repeat that. Sirach chapter 1 and verse 14. To fear the Lord, how about Shem El Shai, is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. On the wand. And that's the perfect precept. Uh. All right, with Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. All right, because the elect, they were in the faithful in the womb. They had the faith since the beginning. In every regeneration, the elect had the faith of Yehovah Shemuel mm Shai. -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5 Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Alright? Okay? And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Okay? So, so the elect will have the faith, the fear of the Lord, and, and all the wisdom. Alright? Sirach chapter 19, verse 20 It says, The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And all wisdom is a performance of the law and, and the knowledge of this omnipotency. Bring it out. All right. So those three things, man, the elect will obtain that uh, in, every re in every single regeneration, including these last days. That's right, all right? man. So the, the fear of the Lord is the first thing, man. All right. Psalms 111 and 10, the fear of the Lord is the, is the beginning of wisdom. And uh, all that they do is commandments. That's right. Hey, right. and I got a scripture like unto it. If you want to bring it out, um... Uh, Sirach chapter 25, verse 12. Up oh, shot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm bringing it down. It's the book of Sirach. Chapter 25, verse 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. That's the beginning of his love, man. So when you fear your Havash Shot, you know right there and then, man, that his love is right there for you, man. Okay, because you fear your Havash Shot, you're like, oh, Lord, deal with me. Oh, man, the Lord dealing with me. You know what I'm saying? He, he dealing with me, man. Go ahead. And faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. And what? And faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So when you feel your heart by Shemal Shai, a plus is that, is that faith, man. That means not only, okay, you feel him, but then you like, oh, you cleaving onto him now. You know what I'm saying? And that's faith, man. The All faith right. in the womb. The faith in the womb. There you go. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? See, that faith right there, okay, as a cleaving onto your heart by Shemal Shai, that's a beautiful thing, man. You see, brothers, fear your heart, brush mouth shot. We know if we don't go out here and do the work, guess what? 
the Lord's gonna destroy us. We know if, if, if we don't feel your heart about Shemal Shai, we know that easy anything could happen to us any day, any time, any second, any minute, man. Okay? These things can happen to us, man. Shalom, shalom. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen to us at any moment, at any time, man. Okay? The fear of your heart by Shemal Shai is important, man. All right? That's his love. Okay? And with that faith, it's cleaving on to him. What you got, brother? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom, a good understanding, have all they that do his commandments, his praises endureth forever. You uh, said Psalms 111 and 10? <laughs> Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom, a good understanding, have all they that do his commandments, his praise endures forever. Uh, you no, know, like I said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All right, and uh, and the Lord He does not deal with anybody unless you are dealing with wisdom, according to Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. Okay, so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the Lord He will bless you with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Scriptures. That's right. You know, Isaiah thirty-three and six. Uh, for wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. That's right. The strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the, the Lord, Lord is his treasure, man. The fear right. of the Lord is his treasure. Come on, that's right, that's right. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey. And, and what? After the fear of the Lord, you keep the commandments. That's right. All right, because, because according to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, that is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. Right. That's the whole duty of man. So that's what we have to do, man. Okay? It ain't hard to feel your heart about your mouth shot, man. It is not hard because we know the terrible things that the Lord can do, man. That's right. We know the terrible things. Man, we were watching a, a, a video a brother, had, uh, a brother had posted, or uh, he had showed us, man, about how the, 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 the animals, the animals, man. Uh, no, not the animals, but this animal it was a bear. It was, this bear was eating this Edomite alive. And all you could hear was the gruesome sounds of him screaming and hollering. Just screaming and hollering, man. Ah, ah, all the aching and pains, man. Like, That's the fear. Somebody grab, uh, <coughs> make it a, 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 a spirit of, of vengeance. Got it. Baba Kasha. Oh, that, 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 the Lord, the Lord, the Lord could do some grievous, uh, grievous things to you, man. You know, the Edomite was screaming and ho hooting and hollering. He, ah, ah, ah. Do you Got think it. that damn bear gave, gave a damn? No, man, go ahead, bring it up, It's the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Woo! All right, go so, ahead. Yeah, so the Lord, he can uh, put the spirit of vengeance onto people, all right, which is the death angels. The Lord can put the spirit of vengeance onto animals. Man, even squirrels. Listen, man, he could just like the Lord is comical, and he and he and he's great and terrible at what he does. Yeah, he, he can he can give uh like like someone like smaller than you, like three times smaller than you, and give him a strength as a uh, as ten mighty man and, and whoop your ass. Oh damn! Oh a damn silverback gorilla. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Slam your ass across the room. I'll get this up. Uh, come on. Come on. Well, yeah, brother, got, uh, Luke 1 and 5, 50 yet? No, nah, you can bring it out. Ahead, this, is, this is Luke chapter 1 and verse 50. It says, And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. All right, man? So, you know, the Lord's mercy is on the brothers that fear him from generation to generation, man. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, brothers that fear him now today, you know, <coughs> the Lord give us mercy, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Think about if we didn't we, if we didn't fear him, man. Hey man, our, our forefathers fear you how about smell and shot, man. Yep. And they see some things. <laughs> what? They see some things, man. Okay? And back then, alright, hey, look. The Lord got busy, man. The Lord got busy. Alright? That's it, hey, man. That's just, just to let you know the fear you how about smell shot was no joke, hey, man. man. Alright? And, 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 and now today, people, people forgetting that, man. Huh? People are forgetting the, 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 the power that we serve. Well, that it, 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 it controls everything and does everything, man. Like, Lord won't put you bounded up, or like, like you won't put your head up your damn ass, man. Oh. This is this is not the Lord's not a joke, man. Oh. Lord's not a joke, man. Yeah. Lord will mess oh. you up. Oh. Hey, man, you know, and that's why we fear the Lord, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? If we did fear the Lord, the Lord, the things that would happen to us in the world will happen to us, man. But since we fear the Lord, the Lord will show us mercy, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we understand that if we don't. Strive for this truth, man. 
if we don't actually put our, our, our works in, and you know, that's showing our fear right there, putting these works in. You know, if we don't do that, man, the Lord's going to fuck us up, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we get to this word and we strive for the Lord, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, if you ain't striving for the Lord, if you ain't doing this work, if you being slothful, man, you ultimately do not fear the Lord. That's All right. right? That's ultimately how it is, man. If you over here slacking this shit, you have no faith in the Lord, you don't fear that the Lord is going to take your ass up for not doing his work, man. Right. This is the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 6 shall, shall a trumpet be blown in the city And the people not be afraid Shall there be evil in a city And Yahweh Shemiah Shai has not done it Woo! So can you imagine something Just all hell breaking loose man All chaos And uh, you know just all kinds of shit going on man Can you imagine that like people killing each other You got zombies out here Biting and nibbling on your ass can you imagine people breaking your stuff? <laughs> hey, you, you, you think about it. Who do you think done that, man? Uh, Who do you think done yeah. that? All right, that's your whole boss, man. Right. Okay, you got people. You know, we got people out here doing ninja kicks and kicking niggas in the chest, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna, it's gonna get real gruesome out here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get. It's gonna be worse than a damn uh, horror movie, okay? Or some Call of Duty ness, all right? Or whatever terrible thing you can think about. It's gonna uh -huh. be terrible than the damn Halloween night, man. Yeah, you know, hey, they put it in these movies, man, and they like to call it godless times. But the scriptures say this is the time wherein the Lord shall begin to visit the earth, man. Uh -huh. All right, they like to say, oh, this is all the devil's doing. This is the Lord's doing, man. That's right. The Lord got it out for y'all, and y'all about to get that work, man. And we brought that scripture out, man. Okay, Isaiah 45 and 7, about uh, about the Lord doing all these things, man. He create evil and, and, and do good. Uh -huh. All right, prepare for praise. Yes, sir. Um, what's up? Yeah. Stop, man. No, it's still going. It's still going. Go ahead. Oh, it's just oh, oh man. It's the book of Romans, Spirit, chapter 2 and verse 11. But there is no respect of persons with the Yahweh by Shemiel That's right. Oh, you can break it down. Oh, go ahead. Bring it back. But there is no respect of persons with Yahweh by Shemiel The Lord does not give a damn who you are, man. Oh, he don't care who you is. You know, it don't matter who you are. You the richest man in the world, or you the poorest man in the world. Lord give a damn who you is. If you out there giving to the, the poor, like I said earlier, okay, you don't care what you doing, man. He's not a respectable person. That's scary, man. Hey man, that's scary. Oh. You could be doing what you need to do still. And the Lord don't give a damn. Appreciate you gotta do right by him, man. Okay, the Lord's not respecting a person, man. Oh, you know, ain't no, you ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no oh, oh, I did all this, I did all this wonderful works. No, man. Hell no, man. Hey, man. Look at Moses and all the wonderful works he did, man. Uh, the Lord, the Lord didn't care about that. He said, "Hey, because you didn't do this, you still got you got to die for that." And one simple thing, one it could be anything, man. You ain't do that. Oh man. It says, "For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law." See, so those who don't even know about the law, all right, or or not taking heed to the law, they're going to perish. That's oh, right. All right. Go ahead. Hey, the scripture talks about um, them dying without knowledge, man. They shall die without knowledge. God. It says, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. Yep. For not the hearers of the law are just before you have Hashem Shai, but the doers of the law shall be justified. So the ones that's doing, man, doing right, Yahweh, by, doing right by Yahweh by Hashem Shai, okay? Doing what they need to be doing, okay? You know, the scripture going to say about how, you know, not just being hearers of the word, Okay, but do is of it too, man. That's right. Okay, yeah, you got to be able to do what you, what, what you got to do for y'all by some outside. Uh, you right. can't be out here just lingling, dingling, and just doing what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Slinging your arms. Okay, doing what the hell what you want to do, man. That's not sliding. All right, you got to not only be hearing, but doing as well. Putting your work in, man. Doing what you got to do for y'all by some outside. Uh, you got to stretch uh, Go ahead. Bring this it this the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man. I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, he made us watchmen, go ahead. All right, he made us watchmen to warn everybody of the evil ways, man. And that's what we're out here doing. That's what we're gonna get down to today, man. All right, we out here watching. We watching for the times, man. And we warn you, get ready. This shit's about to come. A lot of people are about to die. Let me save you. Let me help you. And these motherfuckers saying no. Yo. And, and, and it's fucking. And that's a lot of Jake, man. Okay. Know why? Because they don't fear your how about shot, man. Oh, they right. can see, they can see these devils. Uh, 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 see, they can do. These devils could do some wicked, man. 
do some wicked shit, man. All right, and then you still have Jake around here still running around right, right underneath their ass. Can you help me? Help me, please. And they could just, they could just slide your whole family. They could just send a whole platoon in your house to kill everybody, and you still gonna ask them to help you. Yep, hey man, the fear, it's not how to fear the Lord, it's the lack of faith, man. All right? And the scripture goes into saying, the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right. right. To lack faith, man, means you don't believe in what the, the scriptures are telling you about the most high Yahweh Shemel you know, Shai. You don't believe in all the things that the scripture told you he's done, man. All right, you don't have faith. And you gotta die. The, uh, faith, like you said, our faithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. That's right. Man. <clears throat> Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, yep. and thou giveth him no warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from his wicked way. All right, what we're doing today, man. What are, we, what are we out here doing every week and every day? We're warning the wicked because the Lord said what? You're going to surely die. Yep. So we out here saying, hey, man, the Lord's going to kill your ass if you don't get right. All right? And what does it say if we don't warn you? Con, to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his in iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So now the blood is on our hands, man. Yep. Because we saw you eating that motherfucking pork hot dog. All right, and that pork hot dog gonna lead up to, to what? You getting that, ultimately getting that MOTB, man. All right? Yep. It all starts with the little things, and it leads up to greater things until you ultimately offend the Lord, and he ain't no going back from that, man. Yep. All right, now you gotta, now you gotta die for that, man. Bro. Okay? That's Go why on. it's important that we do what we do as today, right now, to mm. warn you and let you know what's mm. about to happen, man. Yep. Because without that, you know, we gonna, we gonna, that blood's gonna be on our hands, man. Oh. That's why we let you know to fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai. That's oh. right. Because you don't fear him, that's your ass, man. We yep. doing that through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai because we were told to do that. That's right. Oh. All right? And we listened to that. We obeyed that word because we fear the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. And we doing this out of fear of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Until you get that blood off of our hands, baby. Right, you know, baby. The nigga can't get it. We're moving on. That's right. And if you ain't doing this right here, then and, and, and proclaiming to be doing that, that blood's in your hands, man. Yeah. Verse right. 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness. Woo, that's important, Read, bring that back. Yet if thou warn the wicked. Read it louder. Yet if thou warn the wicked uh -huh. and he turn not from his wickedness. And he turn not from his wickedness, Jake, go ahead. Nor from his wicked way. Wicked ways. He shall die in his iniquity. Your ass gonna die in your iniquities, your wicked doings, all right? For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, man, y'all do as what, do as that will spirit, do what you wanna do, all right? Brothers in the highways and the byways, pushing classes, pushing videos, telling you what you shouldn't be doing and what you need to be doing, you still do what you wanna do. This is the result. Go ahead. But thou has delivered thy soul. Ahead, hey, you delivered your soul, man. We're delivering our soul from getting this blood off of our hands, man. Now, when we uh, <laughs> when you gotta pay for what you did, the Lord ain't gonna look at us for it, man. Because we delivered our, hey, we got the blood off our hands, baby. We told you what to do. Yeah, it's up to you whether you want to get it or not, man. Uh, if I tell you you got the motherfucking train tracks, a train coming, and I can, you know, what can I do? Yeah, I, ain't man. Gonna, I ain't gonna put a gun to your head and say get the fuck off train tracks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's up to you. That's right. Like, you gonna get off those train tracks and you gonna let that train hit you, man. That's right, man. Cause everybody ain't gonna be able to be Superman, okay? Everybody gonna be able to be like you see a bus coming and I you still that. sitting there, you still sitting there, you not, you just not hearing what the get off the road, get off the road. You just looking all coolish and shit, okay? And everybody ain't gonna be able to, 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 to jump in the front. I ain't risking that. I ain't risking that. If it ain't for the elect, I ain't risking that. Bring out your last precepts, bro. I ain't risking that, man. So you about to listen, Jake. Go, oh, yeah, that was it? Y'all go ahead, grab your last precepts. Let me get this real quick. This is Proverbs 19 and verse 23. It says, The fear of the Lord till it's in life, and he that hath it, he shall abide satisfied. Mm -hmm. He shall not be visited with evil. Break it down, brother. Hey, you're going to be visited with evil if you uh, fear in the Lord, man. Why? Because you're doing what he told you to do. Ah. You follow his instructions. And his instructions is leading you to the pathway of life, man. That's right. All right? If the Lord say, come over here so you can be protected from the evil, and you fear him and you listen, then you're going to be protected from the evil, man. That's right. But if you can't listen to the Lord and fear the Lord, then you're going to die. That's Fire right. The Lord. Ah. 
for example, man, you know, in the times we're coming to, you know, we're going we to be seeing a hell of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord is going to be directing our paths, man. All right? So if you feel the Lord and the Lord tell you to go this this place and this place look like all oh, hell breaking loose down there. If you feel the Lord, you gonna go down there, man. That's right. Uh, and Lord, uh, uh, so I can't mean, cut you oh, off, yeah. brother. That's right. Cause Lord gonna set ways for you to go. Okay. He gonna set ways for you to go. And you might see a way that might be better than the way you, the Lord told you to go. Oh. All right. And you might see all hell breaking loose over in that area. You might see whatever woman getting ravaged. You you seeing uh, buildings blowing up. You seeing. People with guns, gang members, all kinds of stuff. And Lord said, go that way. You better go that way. That's okay? Right. And it's Pretty easy sure. said it and done. But y'all about to shout out the side that he put that spirit on us to make the right decision that we go that way. Wow. Okay? Because that other way, you 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 got you go you, you go that way, guess what's gonna happen? The good way. If you go that way, if you think what's a good way, you go down Dillity, hopping down the yellow brick road, and guess what? <laughs> Bam! Whole semi hit you, man. Hey, man. What's good to say? Fear not him that uh, that can destroy the body, but yeah, the one that can destroy the body. What about that earlier? Uh, See? No, That's the spirit. What, that was it on that? Uh, God, go ahead. I got Proverbs 15 and 33. The fear of the Lord is destruction of wisdom, uh -huh. and before honor is humility. Bring it up. Yep. Bro. Hey, the scripture talks about the fear of the Lord being the beginning of wisdom, man. All right? To fear the Lord, man, is when you when you start to get wisdom. Okay? You, you call yourself wise. Scripture says, hey, the wisdom of this world is foolishness, but the how about Shimei Oshai? That's right. That's right. All right. This is true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yep. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are the true riches, man. Yep. All right. Riches, hey, riches in the world cannot save you from uh, the day of trouble, man. Uh -huh. But the riches in this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shimei can save you, man. All right? That's right. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. That's uh -huh. right. The strength uh -huh. of uh, salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's right. That's right. That's his treasure, man. That's, treasure. That's how we get out of here, man. Not by worldly and carnal shit, man. By fearing the Lord, y'all by Shemuel Shai. I fear the man who created all these things on the earth, all these tribulations, these death and anguishes, rather than the shit on earth, man. That's right. Um, that's it on that? Yeah, I was in on that. Uh, that's it? Yeah, yeah. All right. All praises, man. Lord, when y'all by Shemuel Shai, I desire that this was edifying to you. So if it's edifying to you, then it's edifying to the elect. Until next time we say, Shalom. Uh, Shalom. 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 Hey, hey, man. Call along. Yeah, I will buy a ship. Yeah, I will buy a ship. Hey, man, you know we had to go out like that, man. Shalom. 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 Shalom.